I just finished reading an amazing prequel to one of my favourite middle grade books of all time. That book was A Kind of Spark and I've just finished reading Kidi by Elle McNichol and I absolutely loved it. I'm Jack, this is Spread Book Joy and here I love to share great books for children for home or school because I am a qualified primary school teacher and I love to spread the joy of books and reading as far and wide as possible. I also love to talk about my own reading and my own thoughts on reading so if that sounds like something you'd be into maybe stick around and check out some of my other videos. But today, a middle grade review. In 2020, Elle McNichol published A Kind of Spark, and I have to talk about this briefly, but I think if you've not read A Kind of Spark, you could read Kidi, but I would read this first, though to be fair, I think you could read them in either order, but I think you'll get more out of it by reading this book first. So Elle McNichol is a neurodivergent author, and she is brilliant, and she published A Kind of Spark in 2020, and it just went down an absolute storm. And I think it's one of the most enlightening books I've read about the experience of being neurodivergent in a neurotypical world and Addie is a fantastic character and she lives in a small village in Scotland and she is autistic and she discovers that in her village some women um, were accused of being witches back in a few hundred years before and they were executed and so murdered for being different and Addie um, feels quite strongly about this as someone who is treated quite differently herself so she goes on a campaign to try and get a memorial to these women. Uh, she's also suffering from um, uh, kind of harassment, uh, a bit of bullying and just trying to find her place in the world. She is a great character and I loved A Kind of Spark so very much. It's a wonderful book and everyone should go out and read it. So um, Addie is the younger sister of two uh, older twins, Nina and Kidi, and Kidi is the subject of the prequel. Um, so Kidi is also autistic, but her twin sister Nina is not. Kidi and Nina both attend a mainstream secondary school and she is um, has her best friend Bonnie, who actually attends a special school. Bonnie is also autistic, but um, attends special school rather than uh, mainstream. So Kidi is very, very protective of Bonnie and she just sees Bonnie's wonder in the world and how amazing she is and yeah she just absolutely adores Bonnie and she cannot stand it when people are mean to her or pick on her for being different so she stands up for her and Kidi ends up getting a reputation for being somewhat of a knight in shining armour for those who are oppressed or bullied or picked on within local school community and things take a turn from there. I absolutely adored Kidi as much as A Kind of Spark, uh, probably not as much more than A Kind of Spark, I think A Kind of Spark is still holds a special place in my heart but I was so thrilled to return to the town of Juniper, to the same family and these characters and to see sort of a little bit of Addie's earlier story as well so we get hints of what, hap um, what happened with Addie when she was younger and how she ended up with her diagnosis and um, yeah I just absolutely love the character of Keely and I really hope Elle McNichol writes a bit more about this family and this village because it's wonderful. If you like the sound of either of these books and they're both fantastic uh, and you'd like to pick them up I have a 5% discount code for Books Please who are an online book retailer and I um, get a small percentage which helps me to run the channel uh, no extra cost to you so if you fancy helping the channel out and getting 5% off your books you can use that code or not it's up to you um, if you've never been here before and you like this review you might want to check out some of my other ones I have a whole middle grade playlist which is in the description box below a picture book playlist but I also talk about grown up books too so you might want to check some of those out so maybe click like maybe subscribe uh, let me know in the comments have you read any Elle McNichol are you planning on reading any Elle McNichol if you're not sure what to say maybe leave some headphones as an emoji uh, because that's what Keely likes to wear or a shark for Addie because she's a bit obsessed with sharks and hopefully I will see you again here soon. Bye!